the pentatonic scale it's awesome there isn't a bass player on earth that doesn't use it but unfortunately many many bass players and guitar players calling you guys out as well also feel imprisoned by it they play that same old shape over and over you know who you are and then just sometimes you might venture out of that same old shape play a note that doesn't really seem to fit that much abort mission and then go back to playing the same old shape Well, in this video, you're gonna learn three of my best pentatonic scale exercises that's gonna give you the ability to finally break free of using that same old pentatonic shape that you've been using for way too long. You're then going to learn five essential pentatonic shapes, extended pentatonic scales, and why you should be focusing on two string groupings and what two string groupings actually are. So with that said, let's get into it. Dudes, super quick before we get into the lesson, I want to give you a quick shout and let you know that we're actually closing enrollment on the Gary Willis Masterclass, which is a eight week online class with the man himself, Gary Willis. It closes for enrollment tomorrow. So if you want to check that out, I've put the link in the description below. Go check it out. It is a monster of a course. It's who I studied with when I was younger and uh, he's just one of the best educators on the planet. And we only opened this masterclass with Gary Willis once a year. So if you want to check it out, now is the time. Now with that said, let's get into this week's lesson. So the first exercise I want to show you is how to learn the five essential pentatonic shapes every bass player should know, okay? Now just to help you out, it's going to be on the screen underneath as well, the, the fingerboard, but also also, we've put a PDF together for this as well as a specific workbook that you can download. It will have the patterns in there and it will also have the tab and notation as well. So go ahead and grab that if you want. I'll put the link down below on this video. So instead of just relying on that same old shape, like that one that a lot of you will already know, instead of doing that, you actually start seeing the pentatonic all over the fingerboard. Okay, you can, you can find all of the notes everywhere, okay? So that's our goal. The way that I can do it is that I understand these five essential shapes, okay? Now, all of our, uh, all of our exercises are going to be in the key of G major. So, first of all, let's learn the first pattern for a G major pentatonic scale, okay? It's almost like a major scale. We all know that shape, right? Two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four, okay? Just like that. Well, all we need to do is get rid of the four and the seven. Okay, four and seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, out of the major scale, and it means we're left with a G major pentatonic scale. Now, we should learn that from the lowest note to the highest note in this area, okay? So, so in that area of the bass, you're actually gonna go right down to the major third there, okay? So, from the root, all the way to the major third and then back down. That was shape one, this is shape two. We start on the A, but this is still a G major pentatonic scale. We're just starting it on the second degree of the scale, okay? So we start on the A and it looks like this. Once you've got that down, you move up another tone. And now we start on the third note of the G major pentatonic scale. And this shape looks like this. Now you should be memorizing these shapes. Memorize the shapes. You don't need to memorize the notes. I'm not thinking G, A, B, D, E, G. I'm not doing that. I'm memorizing the shape. This next one, the third pattern. And generally I think in numbers of fingerings, so I'm thinking one, four, one, four, one, three, one, three. Okay, the next shape, fourth shape, starts on the one, two, three, four, fourth note of the G major. 
pentatonic, which is a D, and this shape looks like this. Okay, next one starts on the one, two, three, four, five, the fifth degree of the G major pentonic uh, scale, and it looks like this. Okay, and then we're back, and we've got the same shape that we played down here initially. Okay, so super quick, shape one, shape two, shape three, shape four, shape five. Now we all should know those shapes. That should be just a given. We all need to memorize these shapes. G major is a great one to start off with, okay? Now exercise two, we're gonna start using two string groupings. But instead of playing from the, the lowest note possible this way, we're actually gonna start on the highest note possible, okay? So in shape one, we're going to make sure that we can play two string groupings, so G and D, okay? so. Now we're going to move up to shape two, but we're only going to play on the G and the D string. Move up again. Move up again, another two string group in. Up again. And then we're back where we started. Okay, so again we've got. Now remember, we're doing it like that. We're not doing it like this because we want to be able to think in different ways other than just from bottom bottom to top all the time, right? And it sounds like a cool solo line, right? Okay, now we do that same two, two string grouping on the next two strings, so the D and the A string. So a G major pentatonic again, so a shape one, shape two, shape three, Shape four, shape five, and then back to where we started. And again. Okay, you guys know what's coming next. We're gonna do another two string grouping. We're gonna go on the A and the E string. That was shape one, shape two, shape three, Shape four, shape five, and then back to where we started. Now by doing that, first of all, you've learned the five essential pentatonic shapes. And then you've ingrained it that little bit more because you've started working on them in two note groupings. Now, exercise number three is all about using extended pentatonic scales. And all this is, is where you take a, you know, one of the shapes of the major pentatonic. Oh. But now, an extended pentatonic scale kind of slices through all of those shapes. So what I'm gonna do is show you a great line that goes right from here, right to here, to give you an example, and then I'd love for you to go and come up with some of your own using this same method going through the, the all of the different shapes. Okay, so we've got the root, the second, the third, the fifth, the sixth, the root, the second, the third, the fifth, the sixth, and then the octave, okay? So, it, and it played up to speed. It looks like that, and that just using that simple line gets you right from here all the way up to here, okay? It's great. And then back down. Go up and down. Now 
Now that is just one example I wanted to give you today, but you can do many. You could have started on, let's say the, the B here, okay? And you could play this. Okay, or you could start on the, the D. So when you see me playing a line like that where I'm you know, going across through that, I've done, I can do that by, because I've worked on these extended pentatonic scales, working on slicing through the patterns like that and practicing it, you know, every day figuring that stuff out and that's exactly what you should do right now this stuff is really really it's golden for bass players it's really stuff that you know you're going to be using every single time you pick up the bass if you really learn it thoroughly now if you have enjoyed the content in this video make sure that you give that like button a re good slap in and with that said take it easy and i'll see you in the shed